This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house to declare you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4 tell us what the gospel is, how that Jesus Christ died by our sin, according to scripture. <clears throat> He was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. They got it Amen. 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 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He said, Lord, be to preach the gospel to the poor, send me to the broken heart, preach the livers to the captives, recover sight to the blind, set at liberty, them that are bruised. Amen. Amen. Thank God. The word is life, even in your heart, in your mouth, is the word of faith which I preach. You confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, pray with your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved with heart, man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. <coughs> Amen. Thank God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. This is the power of God under salvation. Everyone who believes it, the Jew first, also to the Greek, therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by his faith. I want to welcome everyone in this broadcast, receiving it on live stream. <coughs> Thank God. Amen. Roku, Apple TV, YouTube, and other devices. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 Are we okay over here? Yes. Yeah. All right. Amen. To my right. Amen. Terry Brown, Coles. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. To my left, Coles. Kathy Davidson, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. And to Kathy's left, co host and apostle at the race. Good morning. Good morning. They got it in bed. They got it in bed. And you called the Waller. Thank God. On the wire. Kathy, a courier. Good morning. Good morning. Thank God. Is Cindy here? Yes. She is? Yes. Cindy. Barbara here, good morning. Good morning. Amen. Where's she in the... Yes, she's out in the congregation. Amen. Very good. I got a band. I got a band. Thank God. Thank God. Simon. <coughs> My girls, huh? Amen. Thank God.
God. Praise God, amen. Thank God. Does anyone have a word from the Lord? I have an exhortation, a quick one. Let's do it. It is in 2 Timothy chapter 2, and it has to do with the document that we put up that is available called What We Teach and Do. And in 2 Timothy 2, verse 25, Paul is giving instruction to his son in the Lord, Timothy. And he says, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance, and look at this, to the acknowledging of the truth. Repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. If you grew up in the denominational churches that I grew up in, they, with their idea of repentance was, I promise I will never swear again. I promise I won't drink any more beer. I promise I will never dance. I promise, and that was repentance. This is what repentance is. It says repentance, that God will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth acknowledging of the truth. When I was in the charismatic movement, I wasn't there very long. But when I was in there, people guided their life by dreams that they had, prophecies that other people would give them, uh, and, and, and what we would call that, um, uh, they would see a butterfly and say that was God telling them that this was right to do this. Absolutely. You know what? That is not, that is not the Spirit of God. It's the, we are, our lives are guided by the Word of God. By the Word of God. And one thing I see that this document that's doing, because 90% of it is Scripture, and it brings us face to face with the Scripture, and it'll get us to where we can acknowledge the truth. And when you acknowledge the truth, then you walk in the truth. Amen. And it's going to clear up a lot of witchcraft. A lot of witchcraft. You know, uh, Dawn and I had a conversation yesterday, and there was something that I had embedded in me since the denominational church, and I didn't even know it was there until I was reading Doyle this document. And I have, you know, I helped him put it together. But in reading it, the Spirit of God was with me. And he cleared up a, a witchcraft that I was taught years and years ago just by reading the scriptures. Uh -huh. What happened? I was face to face with the scripture, the word of God. And I had to say to myself, that's the truth. That's the truth. Not what I was taught 40 years ago. So I encourage you to read, to read it to read it and consider it as you're reading that and acknowledge what the truth is. You don't have to acknowledge, you don't have to say that the statements are anything. Acknowledge the scriptures. Acknowledge the word of God. Amen? And read it for hours and hours. Amen. Over and over. Not one time. Not a few minutes. Amen. Read it every hour. Keep reading it. Look, pray. it's praying. You've got to understand. You need to be cleaned up and that doctrine will clear your life. I've said it. I'll say it again. The doctor has 40, he's got 49 years Amen. of faith, uh, the gospel, the power of God on it, what I walked in. And I want to say this, several, three or four times, I, it looked like I had failed and that I was going to be in trouble from now on, never get out. Every time I went through in victory, Amen. every time. Every time. Once I was in great trouble. And because someone, well, my house in Argyle was a mess. 
They lied to me when they sold it to me. That what happened. And they said there was a, a water line broken. That wasn't true at all. Uh, God told me to fix it. I said, I don't know how. You know how. I'll get it and fix it. I did. And I found what it was myself and fixed it. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. But God has been delivering me from all those days for years. It's unreal what I got involved in with people that should have been honest. The, the woman that owned this house heard her husband told me she's a good business. She said, you just will be prepared to experience these kind of things. Uh, this life is not easy. I thought, lady, I'm not putting up with it. My goodness sakes. Anyway, they left, left the house. They were afraid I was going to sue them. She said, if you sue me, I'm going to tell you this, and if my husband dies, I'm suing you. You think I didn't have some fun? Talking with witchcrafts? I got that bad. Thank God. I get thanks. Read that document. Amen. Read it, folks. I've instructed you to do it. I'm telling you how often you need to read it. All the time. Every time you get a chance, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. That is a disciple maker right there. Oh, yeah. Amen. And read it out loud. Always. Oh, yes. Out oh, loud. Yes. Amen. You think you can read it once and say, I read it, you hypocrite. <laughs> oh, it's worse. You read it once, you go, oh, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that. Yeah. I know that already. <laughs> I know that. I tell you what, I was, I was reading the doll this morning, and, I mean, it was washing me. And at one point, I just started laughing uh -huh. at water baptism. Laughing because, of the, I mean, that it was just washing. It's what it says in Ephesians 5. is washing with the water of the word. Amen. Washes you. And you know, in the parable of the sower, it talks about the sower soweth the word. And, and that's in a heart. We know that if you follow those through. And what's wonderful is you can sow the word in your own heart. Amen. You read it out loud Amen. and you'll sow that word in your heart. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Get with it. Shape up. Because I'm going to tell you, you either obey God, walk in the spirit that you're taught of, or you will be cut out. Don't kid yourself. You can't play with God. Amen. This document that he gave it's a, to me over 50, 49 years. It's incredible what, how easy it is for people to minister. Be ministered to through the Spirit by simply reading it out loud. That's a great point, how easy it is for people to be ministered to. Because a lot of people, I get emails, texts from women, you know, they want God to do more in their life, or they want to understand more about God, or they have this situation. This is how you can pray it through. This is how you can get God working more in your life. This is how you can get more understanding. Sow this word. Sow it over and over and over. Sow it in your heart. And this stuff, this doctrine will cast witchcraft out of you. Yeah, it will. Sure will. It will. Take fear out of you. Take doubt out of you. Take unforgiveness out of you. Thank God. 
Amen. If you're reading and you get hoarse, or you start coughing, <laughs> or your head hurts, or you get sleepy, you can be sure you're pushing some stuff up out of your soul, <laughs> your mind, your will, your intellect, your emotions. <laughs> you know, it so says, keep going. <laughs> it says that Jesus come, is coming back after a bride without spot, without wrinkle. This is going to take some of the wrinkles out. Amen. It will take some of the wrinkles out. Spots, wrinkles, and blemishes. Right. All go. And we have, you know, Doyle is sitting here saying, you, you, got, you can't play any more games. And, and even Paul said, you know, the time's short. The time's short. Are you going to be ready? Are you going to be ready to walk through that tribulation? Amen. And, and I thank God we got the document. Because it's going to straighten out some things to where we can believe better. You know, if you've got lies, those lies have to be taken care of. And, and the law has to be taken care of because it shuts up faith. And you're going to need that faith. Doe and I talked this morning about the verse. It's in Matthew 7, 14. Because straight is the gate yeah. and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few. Few that be that find it. That was in my spirit to speak. You got it. Amen. Amen. Few that be that find it. What did Jesus say? He said, fear not little flock, little flock, little flock. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Did you know that document will cause you to go straight and narrow? Amen. Look, folks, I would have never believed God would have had this put together. Amen. But he did. It saves me a lot of bread. What does? Pray yourself. Amen. Clean up your own, <laughs> your own house. <laughs> Amen. What time is it? It is 10.22. Thank God. I got it bad. Thank God. I got it bad. Thank God. Are we ready for some Terry Bye songs? Amen. For Water Black Boys? Amen. Thank God. Terry Bye is a Water Black Boy. Glory and 
and it was dark in my heart. You brought light to me, a child of darkness became a child of light. When my soul was so dry And I need a drink The water of life You became for me
the honor of the rock of our salvation. Come before Him with thankful hearts. Let us sing Him songs of praise.
and shining light. Oh, I couldn't understand it. I couldn't reason how. Then my eyes beheld him, and I wasn't dreaming now. And I saw He was high and lifted up, and rightfully adored. And I saw the Lord. He saw me.
that is in the world Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Satan's like a roaring lion Roaming to and fro Seeking whom he may devour The Bible tells me so Many souls have been his prey Caught in some weak hour But God has given us today His overcoming power Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world On that day of Pentecost A mighty rushing wind Blew into the upper room To baptize all of them With a power greater than Anyone had known And I'm so glad we got it too I wanna tell the whole wide world Now tell them with me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world God is greater than the wisest man Greater than the power of sin Greater than the gates of hell Greater than anyone can tell Greater than the richest king Greater than anything Greater, oh greater Greater, yes greater Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Mercy, grace, mercy, grace, mercy, grace, be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you tomorrow. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church.